guys, welcome to my channel. So basically I forgot to film an intro for this because I thought in my head I'll film the intro after I'm done because we don't want to scare you away in the first three seconds of the video with me without makeup on. So I forgot. But it's okay, I've still got the makeup on. I remembered about ten minutes after and I was about to get all this off but I decided not to and I decided to put on a new outfit to film a whole different video, make use of the time I have makeup on my face. Yeah, anyways. What I'm doing today is I'm doing a how I used to do my makeup in high school video. I graduated high school last year. There was a very distinct way of how I used to do my makeup. And um, yeah, I thought it would be a fun video to film. Reminiscing on the past. In the next clip you'll see me going straight into the first step. Okay, so the first item the first product I'll be going with is the Mario Desku Facial Spray with Aloe and Cucumber. I'll wait for that to dry a little bit. While we're waiting for that to dry, I'll show you what I would normally go in with next, which is my Maybelline Age Dry and Concealer in the shade Fair Claire. Yep, that's me. And I would put this under my eyes, on my eyelids, as like a primer. Um, any blemishes which you can see clearly right there. I put it on my chin and like around my mouth because as you can see naturally I'm rosy on my cheeks and my chin and around my mouth it makes it look really white. It, I just pointed it out to you and if you haven't noticed now, you, now you'll not be able to not notice. English is hard. And I put it on my nose and stuff too and I would always put it right there where I put my highlight so my highlight had something to stick to. I would never go without highlight. Highlight was my tried and true. If I was wearing absolutely no makeup, I had to at least have a highlight on though. Like I couldn't go without my highlight. My highlight was my life. So just gotta wait for this to dry. Basically gonna be using my phone as a camera. Yes, as a mirror as well. So if I look over here a lot, that's why. And if that annoys you, I'm sorry. I would also put some there, I forgot about that, and obviously drag it down my neck because this is two completely different colours. Then I would get my Y6 from Morphe. Um, they discontinued the Y6, it's now the M6 I believe, but I would get this and I would spray it with the Mario Badescu spray. That was rude. And then I would just start blending. needed a little bit more coverage blemishes and sometimes under my eyes if I had a very late night I would add a little bit more a little bit and then after that I would add my Maybelline Fit Me Set and Smooth Pressed Powder in Classic Ivory or 120. I would just set where I put the concealer.
funny thing is, is I always felt like that powder kind of, it's meant to add coverage, but I feel like sometimes it takes away coverage, especially under my eyes, which is weird, but I'm gonna have to find a new powder, I guess. Then I would go in with my brow pencil. This one's nothing special. It's cheap, but it gets the job done. It is the brow pencil in the shade Medium by OXX Studio, so it just came up brand. Then I would just fill in my brows. This is gonna be really hard to do. I need an actual brow. Okay, so I just went ahead and did my brows the way I would have done them off camera because I needed my mirror to do that. And all you guys would have seen was this. So yeah, I did that off camera. Up next, what I would normally do would be bronze just a little bit. I would take my Morphe R14 and oh god, I have no idea what this product is. It is so old. Um, the Rimmel Sunstar. I actually can't read the front. Maxi bronzer. I believe it's like so old and as you can see broken um, and like the writing's all rubbed off so I had this one for quite a while and generally this is going to seem weird okay so because it's broken inside as you can see I would shake it like this you know just break it some more and that would stick some bronzer to the lid so then I'd open up the lid and there's bronzer on there and that's how I would use it because if I dipped it right in there this stuff's too pigmented to do that and it would just look like a mess so wouldn't do that to myself I would just kind of tiniest little dapsy a little bit on the brush and then I would like bronze around the perimeter of my face the smallest bit goes the longest way so I gotta be real careful with this bronzer it may be old and probably expired, but it works really well. See, that usually puts my eyebrows out of place as well, so I generally have to brush them again after this. And then I put a little bit up the top to cover up the fact that I've got a big boy. Not talk about it. It's kind of bronze up my face, might make me look less pale, which would be nice. You know? the double chin but it never works because it is so dominant that it likes to stay there no matter how much contouring and bronzing you do it stays because you got a chubby face and a chubby body but oh well it's just a layer of warmth for the winter you know I'm preparing that's what's going on and no matter what that's gonna stick around because it's just there to stay and then I would just get a little bit ooh, that was a lot of it and just kind of lightly do the sides of my nose like this. So that's all I would do with like the bronzer, which is probably a lot to some people, but. The next step I would normally do is I would put a little bit of shadow on my eyelids at least. On some days I would go in and put like an orange in my crease. On days when I didn't want to go all out like that, I would just put a shimmery shade from the Jaclyn Hill Morphe palette. And generally it would be either this shade or this shade more commonly the second shade in the palette so I will just take my finger second to realize how beautifully pigmented that eyeshadow is this like needs a second of appreciation just on its own if I was feeling a little bit more extra in the day I would get my Morphe M573 brush the third shade in the palette and I would just put that in my crease normally I would have done this before the shimmer shadow um, but I didn't I wasn't planning on doing this but Realistically, most days I would have, so I guess I probably should. And then I would also, on those days, get it 
and run it just a little bit under my eye. This weather is so bipolar, honestly. I'm over it. It's either raining or it's freaking 50 degrees Celsius. Also, that was a hyperbole for anybody who took that way too seriously. The next thing I would do would be highlighting. So I would do my... What would I do last my mascara? Um, this is going to be weird, but my favourite highlighter of all time that I own. Um, this is from Wish. And if I can find the photo, I'll put it here. But, um, yeah, this is from Wish. And generally, you know, you wouldn't... Oh, that could have ruined my whole face of makeup. That little black eyeshadow. Yeah, that's great. We love that. Well, I spotted it, though. Um, it's... Oh, it's all over me. Oh, we love that. Okay, okay. Um, what was I saying? Yeah, it's from Wish and it's very intense and blinding and generally you wouldn't recommend um, makeup from Wish because you don't know what's going into it, you don't know what it's made of, you don't know who made it, etc, etc. But this is really good and I really love this and I probably couldn't recommend it enough to be honest, which is bad because, you know, it's still Wish, but oh well. I usually get the Mario the Desk Spray. I get my Morphe R36 brush and spray that once because the highlighter does get like like it doesn't like to move when it's like wet if that makes sense it's like not easily blendable if it's wet so I only like to spray it once and I pick up that was a lot you only need the tiniest amount of this stuff like actual tiniest amount and then I would apply it and yeah, it would go a long way. And yeah, this was my favourite highlighter. Anyone who went to my school would know that I'd be wearing this all the time. And I went way too overboard with it, so I'm going to do that today as well. Because I could actually bathe in this stuff, like I am literally obsessed. So... I can tell because I'm not facing the light, but I don't know if you can tell. I'm trying. I'm like looking at myself in the reflection of my window. Again, I probably put way too much on my nose, but you know, it is what it is. So, yep, yeah, little thing on my nose, and then I'll put my cupid's bow. And then occasionally, with the leftovers on the brush, I would just run it up my forehead like that, so it had like some dewiness to it. Um, didn't look so matte and cakey. This little brush, it doesn't have a name. I'm pretty sure this is just a cheap brush, I don't know. It's probably from Wish, to be honest, it's probably from Wish as well. Um, I can't remember, but it just looks like that. It's a little angled brush, it's fairly thin. Work as an eyebrow brush, I reckon. Um, so now I'll get the highlight again, and I will put that on my brow bone. It would accentuate all the hairs that I have not tweezed. But we didn't care because it was worth it for the highlight. Oh my god. Like, oh, I could literally bathe in this stuff. I bought myself a backup for when I run out. Um, it's about halfway full right now. I didn't realise when I first bought it. Like, I used it like three times maybe. And I was thinking like, oh my god, I'm going to go through this so fast. I didn't realise how little of it you had to use. So, um, definitely didn't need the backup one. 
but you know, stuff goes in and out of wish all the time, so they could stop selling at one point, and if I ran out, then that would be a disaster, because I wouldn't know where to find it. So, we got a backup. Okay, so I got two of these, um, Maybelline The Colossal Big Shot Volume Express Mascaras. One of them I bought last year at some point and I fell in love with it. It worked so well. Yeah, this one. It was this one. And then, mother, if you're watching this, my mum borrowed it. And when I got it back, it was completely dried out. Like, You'll hear the difference in a minute. So I use this one for my bottom lashes because I don't have very many bottom lashes and it's easier to use one that's not so um, like wet and liquidy um, because if I use this one, um, it gets all under my eyes. So that's what I use that one for. And the difference, fresh one, it's not dried out. It's not dried out. The difference. Okay, that was excessive, but I would use this one. My eyelashes, they're all eyelashes, Talia. I mean, on my top ones. <gasps> I missed the step. Hold the phone. Oh my god, I can't believe I missed this step. I used to do these all the time. I will get, I think it's another brush from Wish, this one in particular, I don't know what this is, it's just like a little fluffy one, I guess it's meant to be blending, but it's so flimsy and thin that I definitely couldn't see this blending anything, um, and then I would spray it, my highlighter, get a little bit on the brush, that looked like a lot but anyways, and I would just tuck it right in my inner corner. I can't believe I've got this step. And then I would kind of drag it a little bit just because I think that's the most flattering on my eye shape. Maybe not for everybody, but on my eye shape, I like the way it looks dragged down. And I'll do the same on the other side, obviously. twice a week I would poke myself in the eye, at least. I would generally only do it on like the outside of my lashes um, because my inside ones like point inwards towards my eye, I don't know, it's weird, they like curl down and like they're not good. Um, so I would generally only do it on the outside. I can't remember what side. One of the sides always curls more than the other. It's probably this side because I can barely see this side, but... I don't know. It used to frustrate me. It still frustrates me. What am I saying? And then we'd get the dried out one, mother. And then we would just put it lightly on our lower lashes. I love how I'm saying we, me, I would do this. hidden talents is um, I don't have to open my mouth like a lot of girls do when they put mascara on. I just kind of look, keep my mouth shut like I don't feel the need to open my mouth. I know a lot of girls do it for like stabilization and everything 
but like, I just don't need to do that, so. Secret little talent I have. <laughs> Definitely not, but anyways. Um, and then, oh, yeah, see? I'm just forgetting everything. I haven't been to school for like a few months and I'm already forgetting like everything. But um, normally I would spray this on my face to set it. Normally I would spray this on my face to set it all before applying mascara so my mascara didn't run. But we forgot, so. Okay, that's the second time you've done that. And then I would generally just get like my lip balm. I don't, the lip balm I used to use, if I can find a picture of it here. Um, we lost that a long time ago. Um, but yeah, that used to be my tried and true. Um, now I just use the Watermelon Carmex Moisturizing Lip Balm. I love this stuff. It um, smells really good. Um, wouldn't eat it because it doesn't taste as good as it smells. Um, and it also makes your lips really tingly. So, oh, it has SPF 15 in it. Nice, love that. Um, but yeah, this would basically be my... I've been looking here the whole time, I'm sorry. <laughs> you have been my mirror as well. Um, but yeah, that's basically what I would do for high school. Um, yeah, so. Um, so yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, this definitely took me back to memory lane and that was only a few months ago. Jesus. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe and follow my social medias which I'll put up here somewhere. Yeah. Leave a comment down below saying what your favourite subject in school was or is.